Billy Mitchell, video game player of the century, and you're watching Nerd Buffet. Hey, this is Jake. And I'm Tommy, and we're here at Icon 2016 at Market on Main in Ottumwa, Iowa. We're really excited. I cannot wait for this. Let's go. A lot of arcade games. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's, play. Let's go. <laughs> So I had a lot of fun during this time. I mean, it was crazy. All of the vendors, um, all, all the stuff that there was to do. Um, I mean, why did we have this in Atumwa, Tom? Atumwa is the birthplace of the international scoreboard for games, um, arcade games specifically. Um, Walter Day had an arcade there, um, Twin Galaxies, and he decided that he was going to be the authority on the high scores. So it's basically the birthplace of where all this fun stuff happened, and that's why we celebrate it in Atumwa. Uh We we had Billy Mitchell there with Walter Day. Billy Mitchell, um, famous for um, his high scores in a few different games, um, and of course in in a few different films now. Yeah, um, sure. We there were games on free play. There were vendors there. Um, we actually had a developer there, as you can see here. Um, I'm playing a new game uh, coming out. What was the name of that? The game is called Signal to Noise. It was kind of a on-rail shooter like Star Fox or Tempest um, and Res. Even it had a musical element to it. Yes, yeah, so Signal to Noise by Solanimous Games. Here we'll actually go with David here. So we're here at Icon 2016 with David. David's got an awesome new game that, that Tommy's currently playing. David, what's the name of the game? Tell us, tell us a little bit about the game. Yeah, definitely. So it's Signals and Noise. It's a music-driven rail shooter. Um, it's a rail shooter, you know, like Tempest 2000, Res, Star Fox, stuff like that, except it's music-driven in the way that players select their own music from their own library, or even live music, and then the game analyzes that music in real time and then influences the gameplay based off of that audio. So I can see Tommy's fighting some sort of boss right now. Right. Is the music even like affecting this boss fight? Right, it's affecting which attacks he does, and it's also going to affect when the boss fight ends. So now he's back in the main game, which we just call Split Signal, because it's a split between shooting and catching health to get points. Okay. And the best way to get points in this, in this mode is to actually save your multiplier whenever you pick one of those up. So to shoot the enemies when they're in a line. And that way you get a combo. What kind of attacks do you have? Um, you just have that hit scan laser. And you can also get a bomb and use the bomb to clear the screen. Um, and you do get points for using the bomb as well. It's just it's rare to get one. You have to catch them. How many bombs are, are, are there? Is there a storage? Amount yeah, that you so can like, hold? In the lower left of the screen, we had a bomb in space there. Right. And uh, you can just press enter to control it. And then, um, yeah, it's a hard game. <laughs> the best games are hard. You, know? I think so. you take time and you get better at it, so yeah. then when people watch you playing a hard game, yeah. you're like, yeah, I'm the man. <laughs> I, I'm in there. I'm not sure what's the cause of the side there. Do you currently have the high score of the game, or is somebody that's come and tested it? No, I actually don't have the high score. Really? It's somebody else in the company, though. Daniel. Okay. Daniel has the high score. Very good. I think it's Daniel. So what? he may have beaten it, though, but I don't Do you know, know what the high score is off the top of your head? It's like uh, 16 million or oh something. Oh, my God. It's something crazy. 
he's it's funny because he he's he's the main animator for the game, mm -hmm. and he'll probably see this. But he was so bad at the beginning, yeah. And now he has the highest scores. So. <laughs> Is that good? Um, is is this out already on Steam or is yeah. this something we can? Okay, right. So it's, so it's out on Steam. It's four ninety nine now. Um, and also, uh, we're porting it to other systems now. Right now, um, Wii U is actually the next platform, followed by awesome. PS4 and PS Vita. I don't play much on Steam, but I'll, I'll probably have to pick it up on on Wii, on Wii U. I think yeah. I'll pick it up. Um, so I guess I guess remind the people about your game a little bit, and, uh, and we, we've had a great time looking at it. I mean, Thank unless you. Unless there's anything else that you, you want to say, up front. Um, not really. No, it's it's a hard game. It's it's designed for you know a lot of strategy and point pressing. Tommy just like, shook his head again. Just when he like said the it's classic, a hard game. just like the classic games. I mean, you have to do a lot of advanced things to get the most points. Yeah. I mean, you can just you can just kind of. Uh, oh man, fine. You can just kind of do brute force, but yeah. you're not going to get a whole lot of points in the Right. There's a lot to learn about the in intricacies of the game. There you go, the boss. Same the noise on Steam now coming to you. said Wii U. There you go. Awesome. It's good. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> And of course, there were so many people there, it was very, very hard to get real good sound quality. So bear with us on this. It was really fun. Here we go. We're here with video game legend Walter Day. It is a true honor, Walter, to have you with us. I'm to meet you guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming to our top one. Being part of this amazing game and customer program, all of the induction that was actually yes, and that was actually my very first question. Pac-Man is such a big, 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 big influence for I mean video gaming even today. What um, what was it that uh, led you to to this being the inaugural inductee into the Walk of Fame? Well, even though the Walk of Fame is needed to be by a citizen's
time there was any kind of contest or competitive thing happening, the results of that competition would not be retained or remembered. It would be like drawing a line in the water and disappearing as fast as it was drawn. Okay? When Twin Galaxies started, Twin Galaxies created the rule of that evolution for being drawn. Twin Galaxies began to accumulate the score so that there was a working database of world record titles that we could build on. And we found the champions. We created the rules and found the champions and organized the contest. And every time a contest or a high score was submitted, it would build on what was there before. So we started the tradition of esports. And that meant that because the scoreboard was in operation, we compiled this statistical database and established new rules that each person could play on, no matter where they were. It means that someone in Italy Despite there being no internet, someone in Italy playing on a game could face off against someone else's score in Michigan on the same game, following the same rules. The difficulty was verifying whether or not they did the same cheaters. But other than that, it returned the, the world of arcades, all the arcades around the world, returned into a global esports arena just by the existence of this kind of scoreboard coming from its own existence. That's pretty incredible, like, the thing, before the internet, you were able to, you know, basically network with these other arcades yeah. and figure out what the highest score in the world is. Yeah, exactly. So, the internet, it just to connect all the arcades to this infrastructure. And then, of course, we can copy the scoreboard and all these magazines and So, people become familiar with the position of scoring and the title of the movie and stuff like that. So, that's how we worked around. Uh, that, that's how we united the arcades and worked around essentially uh, the lack of the internet. Uh, my last real question for you is: we both, neither one of us, have seen the movie tonight. Uh, we're really excited for Man for Snake. Um, what what part are you in? It? I mean, what what are you? What are you I've doing? I've done a lot, making comments. I'm not the star. The stars are Tina and Timothy mm -hmm. because he's the one trying to break the world record. She's there in that support to try and help her handle the pressure of the whole process. Yeah. And I'm there just making comments here and there and running this and then they're making comments here and there. So uh, I think other than the three main people, I think I'm into the most uh, of anybody in the movie. So I'm a lot of fun. And of course they go they cover Twin Galaxy's history and her lineage and her pedigree a lot. So it's about it's all about Twin Galaxies and the Tumblr. And Tim, Tim's been there since the beginning, too. He's been there since the beginning, so. so part of the story. Yeah. Um, and as for me being the East, the, the Innsbruck comment about me being the father of East Parts, uh, I tongue in cheek made a trading card that says Walter Day, father of East Parts. Oh. But, but it's a little tongue in cheek because that kind of designation would have to be made as a, as a result of a big group consensus. And that kind of, I mean, they probably won't decide that there's even a father of East Parts. Probably maybe even a decade or two. Who knows? In my mind, you are. That's a very kind job. I, 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 I humbly appreciate that. Uh, but as far as uh, reality is, uh, I think they're going to fight about it for a long time before they ever, ever decide what this sports really originated. Well, it's really picking up. It is something, I mean, TBS, I believe, last weekend had, had a big eSports event um, on, on TV picking up, ne was it nearly a million viewers? Uh, ESPN does ESPN. video game tournaments all the time. So, I mean, sooner or later, the e truth's going to have to come out. eSports is a big deal. eSports is the biggest thing. It's not I absolutely agree. Time. It's going um, probably pretty fast. It's probably going to happen in 48 months or something. Mm -hmm. eSports is something to be so huge in the game. Sports teams will invest. Maybe maybe regular sports teams will have an esports corollary. So that the Minnesota Vikings esports team is coming to town along with the football team. You know, like the Dallas Cowboys esports team. You know, stuff that'd like be, that. That would be awesome. I'd watch football. <laughs> you don't watch football now. No. <laughs> so sooner or later, the truth will come out that, that you are the true father of esports. That, that's a very charming thing. And, uh, uh, <laughs> so we're really glad to have you with us. We're really glad that, that we can be here today. Um, it's been nothing but fun so far. Um, I, I hope this tradition continues on, and uh, I can't wait to, to for tomorrow to see you back. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Walter. Thank you. Video game legend, Walter Day. Do we have... Podcasters in the year, Jake and Tom.
Yeah, yes. I've met a lot of people today. Yeah. I'm just barely holding on to my brain cells. Don't we have one more question for him? Oh um, I guess my final question is, you know, with being such a big icon of the video game industry, um, kind of goes hand in hand with my next question. Um, what, what is your favorite type of pizza? Well, I stop eating pizza because for some reason I don't think I just the cheese on pizza. But I would normally cheese pizza because of the vegetarian. Yes. Not not vegan though. No, you're still eating cheese and not dairy. Well, like I can have yogurt, a little bit of cheese, like heavy cheese, but it doesn't really have to sweet. Just my body. Everybody's got their choice. Yeah. Everybody's got something they're going to eat. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. One of the other gaming icons there is Timothy McVeigh, and he is from Ottumwa, Iowa, and he had a documentary made about his world record with Nibbler. Timothy McVeigh, like the guy that blew up all the people? Not the guy that blew up all the people. They actually made a comment about that in the movie. They were at this for about seven years. Eight. 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 <laughs> so, without further ado, I want to get to the popcorn, so I'm going to hand the mic. Here we go. All right, well, uh, Atumwa, we're happy to be here showing this film, and um, you know, this is a celebration of a lot of people. These two guys right here, Tim and Tina especially, Tom who's here, Mark Hoff, and really all of Atumwa, because without Atumwa and this town, and, and what's special about this town, this, this movie would not have happened. You know, documentary filmmaking, it, any documentarian will tell you it's a labor of love. And this was for us. We fell in love with this story when we found out what Tim did uh, back in the day at Twin Galaxies. And we just thought we had to share it with the world. And so uh, we just did what it took. You know, we were like Tim, we persevered. <laughs> you know, it took us a long time. And, uh, and, and we've got a really fun film uh, to share with you guys tonight. So I couldn't have done it without Tim and without the support of a lot of people, uh, a lot of you, you here tonight. So. Um, Thank you so much. Here's Tim. I'd like to thank the Academy. Um, <laughs> we shot hundreds of hours, if not even a thousand. So um, tonight is very special. We decided to screen the uncut, um, extremely long. Give that 10 hours. It's a marathon uh, screening. No, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cool 92-ish minute documentary. For those who've seen it, thanks for coming back. And for those who haven't, uh, we really hope you enjoy. So, on with the show. So, I didn't get to go see it because I was at a bachelor party, but how was the screening? I really liked it. I was really impressed with how many people showed up for it. Um, I actually liked it better than The King of Kong. Really? Yeah, I thought the production value was better. What was really interesting is what the mayor done before the screening actually happened. Here's what I have to read real fast and we're going to start because Andy and Tim need to know and Tom, Mayor Tom, I'll let you sit there and not bother you. I'll just read it real fast. You don't know this Tim and Andy, but the mayor declared today man versus snake day in Ottumwa, Iowa. Isn't that great? Okay, I'm reading real fast, it will take 60 seconds and the movie starts. It says, Whereas, Atomwa is the video game capital of the world and the birthplace of organized competitive esports. And, Whereas, Atomwa is the historical home of the Twin Galaxies scoreboard, the U.S. National Video Game Team, and the International Video Game Hall of Fame and Museum. And, Whereas, Atomwa serves the global video game industry as an important cultural crossroads that honors and celebrates the history and evolution of the electronic entertainment industry. And whereas Andrew Seckler and Tim Kimsey have released a new documentary film called Man vs. Snake, which celebrates and honors the historical importance of Tim McVeigh Day, an important part of Atumwa's video game legacy, and whereas Atumwa is the world's leading community that embraces important historical milestones in the global video game culture, so therefore I, Tom Lazio, mayor of the city of Atumwa, Iowa, the video game capital of the world, proclaim Saturday, August 6, 2016, which is today, um, to be a day of civic observance called Man vs. Snake Day, where the citizens of Atum were invited to honor the community's unique legacy as the video game capital of the world 
I am serving the release of this new film, Man vs. Snake, as part of Otomo's video game heritage and as a celebration of today's global video game culture. All right, after the movie, we'll have some Q&A. There were a couple of awards that we weren't able to give out, we'll be able to, and we just got some flat out fun prizes that you guys will really love. So save those numbers in the packages you got. That's what we draw from, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, man versus man. Let the show begin. It was a pretty awesome weekend with, with all there was to do. I mean, I, I hope we summed it up well enough. I, I, know, I know everything's not perfect, but um, I, I wish everyone could have could have experienced what we got to experience this week. Yeah, it was it. it was really awesome. I would encourage anyone who's into video games and especially old school video games to check out that documentary Man vs. Snake. I believe you can rent it and stream it off of Xbox, um, PS4, all like a couple of other streaming services and that. Since I haven't got to see it yet, um, admittedly, uh, my my. Buddy Trevor is going to be married this Wednesday. I'm really, really happy for him. So, Trevor, if you're watching, congratulations. Congrats, um, Trevor. Yes, uh, straight from us. But I was at his his bachelor party, so I, d I didn't get to see it. We had a lot of fun, but um, it sounds like I missed out on a really, really good good movie. And um, thankfully, um, I know we overheard uh, Tim talking about um, he, he had received. Yeah, um, Tim told me that he had got a um, beta, like a tester disc in the mail mm -hmm. to make sure all the menus and stuff work so hopefully it's going to go into production soon and you'll be able to buy it pick it up on blu-ray I'll, I'll be happy to get it or dvd whatever it comes out um i'll probably will be one of the people that rents it on on uh on demand or whatever you want to call it um because because I, I am interested in it i just finally uh recently got to see um the other one um, king, of king of kong yes and I enjoyed it quite immensely. I loved Billy Mitchell in it. Um, Billy Mitchell is my hero. Yeah. At, after meeting um, both of the guys, you know, Billy comes off as a bad guy in the movie, but, but he seemed nice. He seemed really happy to be there. He seemed really... Um, he, he actually told me I got his autograph on my copy of The King of Kong that I bought there. Yeah. Um, and as he signed it, I said, I know you're not on the cover, but I'd like you to sign this anyway. And he says, well, the other guy, and he's talking about Steve Weeby. Yeah. He says, the other guy, he's like, you know, his, uh, his friends were the ones that produced the movie. And I said, yeah, I didn't think, I don't think you're nowhere near as bad of a guy as they make you out in that movie to see him. He says, no, I'm way worse. <laughs> he said, straight face, he said, they had to cut out all the bad stuff and they kind of winked at me, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. It was, he's a pretty funny guy. He's a good guy, I think. Um, yep. Walter Day was amazing too. Um, yeah. Really nice of him to talk to us for a little bit. Awesome ability to do that that intro for us too so yes yes we'll, we'll probably be using it gratuitously um because it's it's just it's perfect um what we didn't get is right after the intro just kind of a, a behind the scenes thing right after the the intro that we have where he where uh, billy pushes walter what was it he said uh walter says he's never done that before that's funny he's like he's he's probably gonna do that a lot now <laughs> <laughs> so so you saw it first with First Nerd Buffet. Nerd Buffet. Um, with that, I think that's going to sum up everything. I, like I said, I really wish if you weren't there, you could have been there. But hey, there is always next year. This is not the first time they've done anything like this. Mm -hmm. and, and hopefully this tradition continues. We would love to see it. We will be there if it happens again. I've been Jake. And I'm Tommy. And we'll keep the light on for you. Oh, this is always my least favorite time of the week. When the video ends, that means I have to go to bed and get ready for work in the morning. It's okay, Jake, because you could always subscribe to the YouTube channel and be alerted every time the new videos come out. Really? Yes, you could also like the channels and follow us on Twitter at Real Nerd Buffet and get on Facebook and follow us. What? Oh my god, I'm going to do it right away. And you should too!
Ja,